Hello, what's going on Dev? Welcome back to WebDev Channel. In this video, you're gonna learn for Scratch step by step how to create an amazing animated text using just HTML and CSS. Okay, no JavaScript this time. Stay with me until the end of it because by doing that, you will learn how to make it by yourself. I believe it is a nice addition to your website or portfolio. Let's get started. All right, starting reading from the beginning, we have those two files index.html for markup and styles.css. Okay, give you say style to it. Start out here, let's say something on the title Amazing Animated Text. Okay, we also need a link to connect our markup to our CSS. And here in the body, we need uh, another list. Inside this one, we're going to have a five allies. And inside of these allies, we're going to have anchor tags pointing nowhere, okay? Note here that you, you're using Emmet. If you want, you can do the regular way. It's going to take more time. It's up to you, okay? Another thing you should be uh, putting here is this attribute data text, okay? Let me just copy the paste here. Yeah, different allies in all the allies equals all right and in here it's very important we have to have the same label the same name all right this one home the same way the second one here if i can type let's say about let's go to the third one and here service now we have blog and last but not least contact okay Let's see what we have so far. Okay. We have our another list. All right, as you can see, all we have is this another list, ugly one. Let's start out simple. Okay, change the font. Let's go to the Google font and pick their poppings. You can use Mozart or whatever you like the most. Okay. And let's just import it here. For now, nothing done. We just import it, okay? Let's have our CSS reset. But before we have our CSS reset, I'm gonna tell you why we need a CSS reset, okay? So allow me to show you, because once you see, you are gonna be able to style it. We have this margin outside, and we also have this padding inside of it, okay? And we don't want that. So margin zero, no margin at all. We still have padding and now no padding, padding zero. Box size is gonna be border box because it's easier to deal with height and width, okay? And for the foot family, this time, let's use the poppings from Google Fonts and so serif is a fallback in case of something goes wrong, okay? Our CSS reset is done, so we no longer need this one on the body. And now we're gonna grab the body, okay? For the body here, it's gonna be quite simple. We need to put this content, this element in the center, okay? Right in here. In order to do that, you're gonna use flex box. So display flex, just like content center along the main axis, okay? But along the cross axis, we need Align at the center and you also have mean height of 100 vh. We need two lines of code, okay? And the last thing here, let's change its color. So, background color is gonna be this 252 839. And yeah, it starts to take a shape. Okay, devs, as you can see, we are doing things very simple here. We are going from top to the bottom. Now it's time for the UL, okay? Position is going to be relative, display flex, but that's not what you want. It puts the side by side horizontally. So let's change that, okay? Let's change that flex direction, column, and it's back. And we want to add some space in between them. CSS like called a gap, okay? So let's give a gap of 30 pixels in between them. And as you can see, we have a lot of space between them right now, all right? And now we grab the UL LI, okay, UL LI, and 
Let's start with the position relative and now I don't want to see these ugly ballet plates here, okay? So this is style none and we just get rid of those ugly things, all right? Now we're gonna grab the echo tags itself, okay? Let me just copy this here. Let's save you a time. And let's just paste in here, okay? All right. Let's give a position of relative. We will also want to make it bigger, okay? Font size 4 EM, all right? We want to get rid of this very ugly underline, text decoration 9. Line height is going to be 1 EM. Let's apply, say, spacing between the letters with that spacing of two pixels. Text transform, uppercase, everything. And for the color, yeah, it's going to be transparent. As you can see, invisible. Okay. So how are you going to fix this? With the text stroke. Okay. We still need to use WebKit for this one. One pix RGBA. Let's pick the white color. Okay. 250, 255. And the transparent is going to be dot five, and you have this as result. Okay. Let's move up here. Okay. Now let's start dealing with the animation itself. Okay. Let's grab the U L L I A. Give some space in Fox just on this one. And here let's use the pseudo class before. All right. The content here is going to be the attribute, that one, the data text. As you can see, we have this same text, it's duplicate in here. We don't want that supposition absolute, they're here on the top of each other. And for the color, just for now, let's give it a white color. Width is going to be zero and overflow hidden. Let me show you here the width. If I change that to 20%, you see that we have 20% of this is now white. Let's change that to 40. 40% 40 is white. So I believe you got the idea. We're going to be dealing with this width. All right. Okay. And now we're going to use a hover on this pseudo class before. Okay. Let's type here hover. And yeah. First of all, let's start change, as I told you, the width, okay, change to 100%. Let's see what you have so far. Looks like we're still in the 90s, okay. And let's solve this issue here, okay. How? Let's use transition. Let's say 0 0.75 seconds is in out, okay. And let me show you, yeah. Looks like now you are in 2022. All right, and we also need to have a border, okay? A border, right? Instead of just change the color of the text, okay? As you can see, we have it, and it's working, okay? Not the way we want, but it's somehow working. Let's copy this one and put on the hover and see if it changes something for us. Instead of this white here, let's change to the just white with no transparency and home, about, services, blog, contact. Yeah, it's working, but as you can see, this border is too close to the to the words, okay? And we don't want that. It's very ugly effect. So we need to go back. Let's go back to HTML and make a couple of changes. All right, in here, Let's use those no break space, okay? In both places, in the data text and also in the echo tag itself, okay? Let me just copy it here. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. This is a, is a very hard thing to do here. And let's also put after, okay? Okay, as you can see, we have a nice effect red. Let's do the same for the second one. Okay, for the about, after and before, the same for the services, with blog, let's have one after two, before, 
and the after. And as you can see, yeah, now they are all in the right position, okay? Of course, there is different ways of doing the same, okay? You can show me down below in the description what you think is the best way of doing this. Now I'm gonna organize it a little bit because I'm gonna be dealing with the color. Each one of them is gonna have a different color. You order to do that, I'm gonna use some classes, okay? Let's add the, the first class here is gonna be blue. The second is light red. The third one, let's say yellow. The next one here is gonna be green, okay? And the last one, let's say pink. And yeah, that is gonna be easy to give the colors. All right, let's start out dealing with the colors, okay? I'm going to start with the blue, okay? The first one, so you get the whole idea. Each one of them is going to have a different color, okay? Let's start with the blue, it's slash slash CLR. And let's pick a bluish color, 319, 3FA. Let's change here, down here in the so the class color var c l r okay it's beautiful but we will also want to change the bottom right so the bottom right in the text both of them are gonna be blue okay let's use available and yeah very beautiful both of them are blue and we have that nice effect all right and let's see if you can make it better. Okay, let me give you some more space. I know a couple of you guys are watching that on mobile phones. Let's come here to the text stroke and change the color for the semi blue. And let's see what we have. Okay, it's beautiful, but we are gonna change that text stroke for something else, okay? And as I told you, now we're gonna get rid of this one and just use something else if I can type. Let's use filter and drop shadow. Zero, zero offset and 20 pixels blur. Let's pick the color here, the variable. Let's give it a save and see. Yeah, very, very beautiful. And remember that we're gonna do that for each one of these allies, okay? So we are gonna have a sterling effect. Let's go up here and you also copy this text stroke here. But this time you're gonna use not the white color, but the whatever the color is. Okay, take a look at this. Home, very, very beautiful. Okay, now I believe you got the idea. So let's do that to every ally in this another list. This one is gonna be the red. Okay. And let's pick this red color here, FF4000, okay? Let's go to the yellow, as you can see on the left is happening on real time, okay? This one is, is the yellow. Let's go to the green here and let's grab a greenish color, okay? 5BC, 0BE, and last but not least, the pink color. And yeah, it's becoming very beautiful, okay? I forgot the hashtag here, and yeah. Let me show you home, about, serves, blog, and also the contact. Okay guys, that's all for today. I really hope you like it. If you like it, smash that like button and also subscribe for more. See you.